Hey everyone, it's Paul Bertarelli reporting the head of Sun and Fun for AvWeb. If you have been following the headset market, you've probably noticed there has been a bit of a shakeout. About a year ago, Sennheiser announced that they're out of the aviation headset market, and just recently, a few weeks ago, AKG, another company, announced that they're not going to provide aviation headsets anymore. So that leaves the big three, Bose, David Clark, and Lightspeed. And I've got on the latest version of Lightspeed, it's called the Zulu 3, and Lightspeed's making it pretty clear they're going to compete on price. This headset is priced at $850, which is about $150 less than these high-end noise-canceling headsets have typically been priced at, and they're offering a really aggressive trade-in deal. Lightspeed has retained the same headband and mechanical features, but the ear pads have been enlarged for comfort and a better seal. The control box is similar. It takes a pair of AA batteries for a claimed 40 hours of operation, and it also incorporates some of the technology pioneered in the PFX and wireless Tango headsets. One feature aimed at durability is this braided Kevlar cordage that's tough as nails. No matter how hard you pull on it, it's just not going to break. That's a good thing because cords and connectors are the most common failure points on headsets. The Zulu 3 has the same wireless features as the Zulu 2 had and the same sliding volume controls. The headset has a calm priority feature, so if you're listening to music and a radio or intercom call comes in, it will mute the music. You can toggle that feature on and off with this small button at the bottom of the control box. The control box also has a hard wire jack. That's a 3.5 millimeter for auxiliary input. If you need that for a cell phone or music player, well, you've got it, but most of us are going to do that with Bluetooth these days. Although you can't really hear it through this camera audio, the Zulu 3 has a feature called front row center, and that kind of spreads the audio out, so it doesn't seem like it's coming from the left or the right uh, ear cup. And that really improves the quality, or at least the perceived quality, of music. But you can hear it at the Sun and Fun show if you want to check out Lightspeed there in Hangar B, 46 and 47. For AvWeb, I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting. Thanks for watching.